Just hold on, little buddy. That's it, Turner. Your history. Welcome back to Retro Wednesday, the Tidarium Hanger. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about Series 3 of the Kenner Mask Vintage Toy Line. Seems like people really are enjoying the Series 1, the Series 2, the Boulder Hill Review, and the Laser Command. So, getting into Series 3, I think I got most of these pretty much complete. So, I'm going to talk about each and every one of these coming up. Okay, so starting out, we're going to talk about Billboard Blast. This is Billboard Blast. Now, it seemed like 10 years ago there were, uh, they handed these things out as party favors. If you bought a lot of three or more figures on eBay, one of these would be in it. But I kept two so that I could have the reverse stickers on either side. I just thought it was cool, and it's kind of nice to have a spare floating around. Anyway, looking at this on the outside, you do have the two stickers, and it does kind of look like a billboard. I mean, the billboards I have around here go straight up and down, they don't have this angle to it, but that's that's for the missile firing action anyway. And so aside from that, I probably could scrub some of this paint. I don't know, there's paint on it or something. Anyway, it opens up. And then once it opens up here, you do have on the inside some fans and stuff. And then you got two missiles to clip in. And you have Dusty Hayes with a gold mask. And we're gonna look at him in just a second, but we got a turret. Now, you got two different types of missiles that go along with it. And I think this is the hardest part to get out of this set, uh, these missiles. I actually had to track them down years later, and there it is. I actually had, I thought that this missile that I had for it was the right missile. It turned out it was for the Silver Hawks Mirage. So it was kind of a lucky draw right there to have that. Now, it clips in like so, and then it fires. Boom, caught it. And the same thing, let's see if I can catch this one. It has to clip in at an angle. Boom. Got it too. So uh, let's take a look at Dusty. Okay, so here we go with the Dusty Haze that originally came with it. And so I guess it's not a 100% fair comparison, but here are the figures and it's just a straight repaint. It's just a lighter blue. Everything else about it looks about the same and uh, except for the repaint of the orange and the blues and all that. So uh, kind of cool to have it. I don't think any of these had the accents painted on them. I don't know if they were supposed to or not or mine's just uh, on the back, the accents aren't painted on the front, they are, so that's kind of strange. But anyway, they're silver and gold and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the difference is there. And then the difference is in the masks. So I guess I should have found a version 2 mask to compare to. But anyway, uh, I do like the short masks better. They do look a little bit better on the figures and more like the show. But there we go. That's uh, Dusty Hayes. That's Billboard Blast. A lot of people don't really care for Billboard Blast for some reason. They don't like it. And for some reason, they call Dusty's mask vacuum for some reason instead of Backlash. Okay, so next we're gonna get into Bulldog, also known as Bulldoze, it's a diesel truck, and it comes with Boris Bushkin and the Comrade Mask. Here is Boris and his Comrade Mask, and there he is, got a W or an M on his head. So anyhow, that's a pretty cool looking figure, and there he is with this mask. Now, there's a couple of ways to put them in here. You can open the door and slide them in, or you can lift this up, which is probably easier, and then put them in like this. So, because of the transformation and, well, a couple of other things. So, give some options for putting the guy in here. So let's take a look at this diesel truck, and it looks like a pretty nice little diesel truck. One thing I liked about it was because I do like the Rhino, and it does kind of resemble Rhino in a way, but, it's a cab over more like Optimus Prime instead of having that protrusion in the front. So uh, it's, but it just looks kind of like a diesel, like you'd be hauling a trailer behind it, but you know, you don't haul her trailers and a trailer for mask would be absolutely huge. But I do like the use of chrome that's all over this stuff. It looks pretty nice. And you can see the orange steering wheel in there and all of that good stuff. So once you look at it, okay, so what does it do? Well, you press this button and all the action and magic happens to turn it into a tank. Needs a little help. Okay, so a couple of things you gotta do. You gotta kind of open this up. You need to flip out the wheels like so. I've got some foam in there. How was that? Anyway, 
flip out the wheels. We've got the tank going on. You can fold this forward. And uh, this is kind of loose on mine. And then you might want to move the figure out and put him into the tank area. So let's go ahead and put him into the tank area right here. And there it is. So this is kind of strange. I guess these actually pull out. They didn't pop out automatically. You have to pull them out. And these will break. Be careful when you put them back in. So, And then I probably need to figure out how to tighten this up. And I don't know why I have like little packing peanuts in this thing. I, it's weird. Anyhow. Uh, so, yeah, it does look pretty good. It's got a little chainsaw looking thing in the front. And that pops out automatically. It's part of the system. And it's a tank. I never really thought this was the greatest one ever, but after having Rhino and then you go to this, uh, this chair does kind of swivel too, so that's an interesting uh, point. It kind of free floats. Now, the missile fires like so. And, yeah, there it is. Uh, oh, okay, I don't want to lose that, so let's put that back in there. Now, I do want to show putting this back together kind of what you would want to do when you put this back together to not break it so push these in remember to push those in fold this over and then take your little boris out of here he won't fit in there if it's convert converted converted and then you go to convert it now before you press it down you need to push down on this button and then lock it in place and you, you might need to try a couple of times but the reason for that is the mechanisms in these break and how do I know? Because I have another one that's broken, so. There you go. And then, you know, put your figure in there and all that kind of stuff to convert it back. But you do want to hold this button down as you're locking it in place to keep it from breaking and see how fiddly it is. So make sure that you are very delicate with it. It's much easier to do off camera. But anyway, it's back where it belongs, but that little trick might save you from breaking an internal mechanism. Okay, next up is Bullet Slash Bandit with Ali Bombay as the driver. And this one is a lower price point one. So I do like this one. And this is actually one of the ones that started showing up from the Chile, Chile find. So here he is with his face. He looks pretty good. Here is his mask. And they call his mask the Vortex. So anyway, pretty cool looking dude and pretty cool looking ride. Let's see what all it does. Well, it's a, a nice little motorcycle, I guess you could say. Uh, snap this back in. This is the kickstand. Hold on. Okay, you just have to be careful putting it back in. I don't want to break it. Okay, now it's interesting too because the wheels split, which I think is just crazy when the wheels split like this. And you can split the wheels. Uh, hopefully he stays in there. And that's the first part of the transformation. Second part, you do have this like grappling hook and then you have a gun that comes out the front. And one of the biggest problems with this is keeping the windshield on. All right, the gun has a button here to slide it out. And then the windshield, although it has some tabs, it just wears out. It's a, it's a poorly designed windshield because it just barely clips in the way it clips in. But anyway, there it is and it hovers. And it looks pretty cool. So that's a nice looking, cool toy. It's fun. I remember when it came out and I thought, I was like, "There's how many different motorcycles are they going to make? And how many different things are they going to make? I like the four wheel ATV and all that kind of stuff. But let's see what else copies this. So in my Vortec video, I pointed out, I said, hey, they copied this straight up. And they didn't really because although they look very, very similar in style and kind of like how that works, it originally is a four-wheeler, not a motorcycle, so it's not 100% copied, but kind of the way it works, it does feel like it's copying it, in a way. So next up, I need to talk about Goliath, and I just realized just now how big of a mistake I've made all these years. I have the wrong mask on him. Uh, goes with this guy. Uh, this is the mask that came on him in the set, and I just never even looked it up. I just thought that was right, and these look a little different color. Ugh. So anyway, I'll have to put a picture up of his mask called Totem. But anyway, uh, it's a little bit frustrating. Anyhow, we're going to get a look at Goliath. It's one of those that I never even knew existed. And he is kind of expensive now to get your hands on this guy. Probably going to be real expensive to get on the mask. But 
Anyhow, this is Matt Tracker and Nevada Rushmore. So let's have a quick look at those figures, and that's what they look like. So, uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Uh, Matt Tracker, all new sculpt. It's a different Matt Tracker. Here's his official mask. Uh, and him without a mask. But uh, I guess I'll just leave this on there for now as a filler until I actually get the right mask. But let's put them in their seats. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy now that they're in their seats. And it's basically a race car and the race car carrier. Now it does have some chrome on it all over, kind of like these Kinder vehicles. And just all over this guy. We're going to see more of this carrier when it converts. Transforms. And moving it around, there's the race car. Now, when I got this set, it was missing the spoiler. The story behind the spoiler, I got it from a guy who got it from a guy who got it from a guy. So nobody knows how it was made or where it came from. So I have another one of these I'd like to get another spoiler for. If somebody has a link down below, can link it for me down below in the comments. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, looking at it, it's still pretty cool. Now let's see what all it does. First of all, you can rotate these up. And they're all in, they're both independent. You can also slide these down so it can look like it's rolling up or rolling off of the loader. And then I thought it was supposed to, for the longest time, once you pull it off this ramp, it's supposed to auto-transform. So it doesn't auto-transform. I just thought it was the whole gimmick of it, and that was what it was supposed to do. But it transforms like this. So basically, when you pull these out, the rear wheels go in to the back. And... Then you flip these wheels here down. And then you expose some guns right here. And then there's bombs on the bottom. So the way the bombs work is you just push up and they drop, which is easier said than done. Boom. And they're easily lost. So I don't, I don't advise doing much with them. Okay, let's set that aside. Let's see what this thing does here. So, with this one, you do have to press the mechanism to make everything pop up and start working. And so, okay, so what you want to do is fold these up and then turn this until it pops, like so. Now, when it's in this, you can fold down Nevada Rushmore here. And then fold out his gun, and so he's manning this gun turret, wearing Buddy Hawk's uh, mask. And there it is. So it's, it's kind of cool, it's kind of interesting. And usually with most of these, I do see that this is present. I think they're supposed. this is supposed to be another little gun down here on it, and so that's cool. And then, so this kind of, kind of pops on and off. It probably isn't supposed to, but mine does. Mine has that issue, so... Uh, so with that, anyway, you can slide on there. It's the same looking connection point that they used on Switchblade. So uh, with that, it does kind of rotate and shoot. And then you have a couple of missiles. Okay, so you can shoot the missiles. One, two. So these missiles are huge and obviously they get lost because I think a lot of people don't even know what it goes to. So reload the missiles and we're gonna close this guy up and we gotta be very careful about it pull that in fold this up and then fold this down gently and then you can fold this forward redo all that so don't want to break anything of course a lot of fun so this is goliath so, Meteor is the next one on the list. It's a stunt jet. It's got Ace Riker with his cruise control helmet. And this one really kind of confuses me and perplexes me because A, I didn't know they it existed back in the day because I think I'd moved on from Mask at this time. But B, it seems like it should be part of Split Second series and it should come with a clone. It doesn't come with a clone and it's not part of Split Second, it's part of Racing series. So, anyhow, I guess the jet should beat everything, right? This does look pretty cool. Uh, here's his mask, and it, it matches his outfit, his costume really well. So that works. Looks kind of good. There's his head. And we could put him in, back in his cockpit here. And I'm, I'm a little confused about like how this was even supposed to work. And so with it, it does a couple of things. First of all, it is a jet, and you have, you know, the 
stabilizers in the back here and the wings. These pieces are usually missing and the bombs and missiles are usually missing. So, uh, so with this, you press this in and that autumn, I guess that automatically sets everything off to do its thing. Now these things are supposed to flop down, I thought, as part of it. So I'm not gonna push them down, but I thought that part of it was these wings flop down. But I, I have enough trouble with them staying up already that I'm not going to mess with that feature. So then you just kind of have an extra little vehicle right here and inside of it is a bomb. So drops bombs like Hiroshima. Little bitty red bomb looks kind of cool. It almost looks like the one that would come with that Firefly Dune Buggy, but it, I don't think it is. I, I don't think it's the same mold. I think it's something different, but kind of goes into here. And so that's one part of it. And then the other part here. So this is supposed to sort of have some sort of a missile launcher. The missiles are right here. They tuck right in the side. Uh, I don't want to say they tuck in easy. It is actually a real challenge to get them in there. So you plug it into here and then you have this. And I guess it does launch them sort of. So I, I don't see the point of that. And uh, as it looks like I got a little bit of rust on here. So I guess some of the internal components have rusted a bit. So that's something to look forward to or look, look out for. So that's this thing. It's very unimpressive to me. Maybe I'm doing something a little bit wrong with it. Maybe there's more to it than this, but it just doesn't look like it. It really doesn't look like there's much more to it than this. This looks like it's all it does. So let's move on. Obviously this button is what's supposed to cause it to do that. It did it automatically when I was taking it apart. So uh, anyhow, the wings still don't go down that much and I don't really want them to. So next on the list is Razorback, and Razorback has well, another recycled character, Brad Turner, with his Eclipse Mask. So let's have a look at Brad Turner and his Eclipse Mask here. And here he is. That's a way different look on Brad Turner than his other yellow look. That is a tight mask. I think it hasn't been off in like a decade, huh? There's his mask. There's his face and kind of cool it's interesting how they reuse the characters i mean they get new costumes there's no need to invent new characters but they get the new costumes to go along with their new rides fits inside this driver's seat really tight in there but it works it gets the job done and it's a nice little drag car here it is a t-bird and it's a stock t-bird stock car of a t-bird now i think i'm missing stuff like there's like a decal that's wearing off right there some writing they did tampograph stuff on here for back in in the 80s that was a big deal uh chromed rims and i think it even says uh mask turbo so at this point they stopped using goodyear tires so that's the way it is it it looks cool it's old school now you push this button and it pops up and everything sort of happens so i'm gonna not let it happen to break because this is really for gile you can move these doors down gently and then you got these guns that slide out like so so it's kind of interesting of a vehicle also we do have this uh gun right here so the other party trick here is right there is a button hidden for the projectile which is easily lost for obvious reasons and it's looks about like this and it is the front grille the front grill doubles as a bomb. As with all of these, I suggest you hold the button in as you reset the bomb so that you don't break anything. And reconverting this back is something that you would want to be very careful with just because I have broken a couple of these, or I broke one, I think. But uh, you hold the button in as you kind of put things back into place. Uh, as I'm going to set him down. And he has one more interesting feature. You push on the bottom of the rear window and you've got some guns that come out. Should have done that transform mode. It is a little yellowed. Uh, I, I should probably go through a process of de-yellowing him, but I don't want to mess up any of the tamper graph. So, I mean, you can lose all of this coloring if you try to de-yellow it. So uh, I'm just going to stick with it as yellowed as it is for now. So next up is a collector, and this is another one like 10 years ago. I don't want to say it was a party favorite, but it was included in pretty much every lot I bought had a part 
here and there. I never bought a collector because it always showed up. And the thing was, I was able to piece together a couple of them just from buying lots and stuff. So it looks like a standard toll booth and kind of cool. Let the car go by. Let's see how that works. He rolls up. Okay, we'll let you go by. Works. So how do we transform this guy? So we pop this up and it exposes the gun. The front will just collapse and then we push the sides down. Then this extends over here to be a gun and there it is. There is the collector. Let's uh, get a better look at it. Got a little bit better angle on this guy. And so the thing about this is that first off this little gun. So as you can see on the top here, there's a handle, you can move it. And this gun, the issue with it is it's bent. I don't think it originally was supposed to be bent, but when you close it up, as you can see, if you leave your figure in there, he's got pegs to stand. If you leave a figure in there, it's just going to bend when you close it. It's just the way it is. It's a bad design. It should have been directly in the center so it didn't bend. I mean, there's plenty of space. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't collide with these or anything. So you also have this missile, which is, I get you can detach it and use it as a missile, but I just use it as a gun. And you have this gun right here, which oddly looks like the gun on the crate for laser command, except it is smaller and it's angled and the laser command is red. This is like a bright orange. So anyway, it has a pew pew gun here. Now this stop sign is the what I see missing the most from this set. Out of everything here, these two guns and the stop sign are missing the most, which is what took me a while because I never actually bought one. Finally, I found a stop sign in a lot and, and got it, so completed mine. Now, looking at this Alex Sector, he has this nice little sticker here. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on with it. But it's the same Alex Sector, exactly the same, except a slight repaint of his clothes, but the same mold and the same helmet, which is interesting. So, unless I'm mistaken on that one, too. I'm, I'm having helmet problems today. But, looking at it, this is one with the collector. This one went with Boulder Hill. And also in the accessory pack, or would you say it's a separate two-pack. So, pretty much the same thing going on right there. Uh, there is a lighter. So, I think the lighter one goes with this. Or, you know, one of mine is just darker and faded. But it's the same mask. Looks pretty much the same. They call it the Disruptor. But anyway, that's the collector. I had that back in the day when I was a kid, and it was a lot of fun. I didn't, I didn't really do much with it, but I, I thought it was cool to have like a small miniature playset that actually kind of did stuff, and you could actually stash a few figures in there. I always like, how many can I fit in there and still close it up? So that was always kind of fun too. Thing to take note of when you're transforming it back: these little bitty tabs on here, they're broken off of a lot of them these days, but you want them to line up just right with the holes right there so it'll close and stay closed and be very gentle with it because those tabs break so easy they're really 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 small tabs next up we're going to take a look at wildcat this is a tow truck it's got buddy the clutch hawks and it's uh got his mask ditcher which okay so we already saw the figure in the mask Ugh, getting him in and out sucks but i already showed it earlier when uh, my sadness so there it is, and there's his face. It's all new body, all new mold. Um, let's see the one that was with the Boulder Hill. I was thinking there were more similarities. It is way different, all new sculpt, all new figure, way completely different than what came with Boulder Hill. So looking at the vehicle itself, it looks pretty cool. It's got uh, the chrome. This kind of reminds me of Rhino with this side view mirrors, just huge side view mirrors and chrome up here, this little horn looking thing, these lights that look like they light up, but they're just translucent. And then these pieces here that will come out during the transformation. So really a sparkly looking vehicle. It's got this nice front uh, black bumper. It's huge, it's huge. And yeah, it's you know it's pretty much all there is to it. It's got some stickers on the back. These little orange things, I don't know exactly what they're called or what they're for. I mean, I'm sure that you wrap your tow lines around them or something. Um, maybe they're the tail lights, but it's weird. Sticker right there. It says Wildcat and stuff. So let's see what it does. You press this to get it to transform. It's got to clear that, which sometimes doesn't automatically clear that. And so with that. This is your tow hitch, which actually works as a working tow hitch, or you can leave it in here like so, like I had it. And then this is going to come out and it's gonna be a gun. So you've got this gun that goes with it on the rear of it. And this is 
should pivot on a ball joint underneath and these two front guns come out and all this stuff but the engine stays down below and it turns into a firing deal so as you roll it should fire but you have to have them all lined up just right okay so it comes with five of these discs and as you roll it it fires the discs so that's kind of the whole point to it but uh sometimes it works better than others and you have to have it lined up just right so uh yeah Just gonna load them one at a time and just so show you can turn it and it'll fire but anyway so it comes with like five of these discs so i think i messed it up scramming more than five in there i didn't know how many it was supposed to come with so i got a few extras and there it is so anyhow that's wildcat again let's reconvert this back down into its standard mode clip it down now you i probably should have uh done a few other things so as you're putting this in you want to lift up on this a bit to close those and then press down and that will lock them back into place and yes I do advise that you do use the mechanism to close it also be very careful with this back piece because it is kind of hard to come by these days and the toe hitch and then I didn't show these come out but yeah those also come out I these are so delicate and they break very easily, so I don't even mess with bringing those out. Still, nice looking Wildcat, kind of fun. So next up on the Series 3 racing list is Buzzard. It's an indie race car, which it's odd, oddly enough, I saw lots of these with the tail fins for a reasonable price 10 years ago. Nowadays, this piece is going for a ton of money and it doesn't fall off easy. It actually holds on pretty good, as you can see. I'm lifting it but I don't know why that piece is missing all the time or a lot of the time so it is pretty cool zoom zoom it's got a fake driver what's underneath the fake driver rubber it's just this molded piece but anyhow it is really an interesting feature on how it does what it does but it just looks like a really nice race car just on its own it's a nice race car you never would have guessed what all it does but before we get into what, what it does let's look at the characters and the figures and truthfully uh, I don't know if I got the masks on the right people or not, but it is Miles Mayhem and his brother. And what is his brother's name? Maximus. Maximus Mayhem. So anyway, kind of interesting there. And they have the Flexor and the Deep Freeze masks. Not sure which one's which. I know one's got a red. So I always put the red there. And one's got the green. So, as long as you got both color figures and both color of the masks, I guess you should be okay. And you just kind of fold these pieces here up, translucent windshields, and put them in there. And then you say, it's off to the races. But when it's off to the races, what does it do? When you push this, it separates them. And then that pops out the wings. So, really is kind of cool. This is actually really cool. Because this, this is, again, the beginning of what feels like they're stepping into split series. So, the split second series where they split up the vehicles. Now, a couple more things can happen. First of all, just looking at the plane, you do have these little side guns that are now exposed. They also double as, as how it clips in, how these pieces clip in and hold it together. So, these guns could break because they are such a stress point. There are some stickers all over it, like right here down below on the side where it says Venom. Now, uh-oh, now we know it's Venom. We know it's the bad guys. They were racing Miles Mayhem all this time. But these two separate pieces here, and this one's not wanting to go all the way in for some reason. Let me fix that. So I guess there's some springy action. They are not going to go all the way in because there's springy action once it's set up like this. You have it pop them up like that i don't like that and i didn't realize that was a thing as i've had this a while and i've done this several times i just didn't know that was a thing to it so one of the other thing you want to do is you want to push the guns out on the bottom there so you have the guns out and i guess they're sitting up now in an upright position their flight is over and there it is now this cannot be piloted by them it's piloted by a drone so it's drone pilot and then both of these guys are just cruising around you know zoom like that now putting this back together, you want to clip these in, and so you want the wings to be all the way in, the tips to be all of the way in. Then you're going to slide on the first one right here, like so. And then get it into place. You want to line up the back of it too. Same thing over here, and I, as you can see, you're going to see that this is going to go down as you slide it into place. 
and you make the back line up and that goes down now it all sits flat again so there it is push these little guns in it really a pretty cool little toy and kind of the mid-range on the price range back in the day so next up we have iguana and this is the atv four-wheeler lester sledge with his mudslinger mask and uh looking at lester sledge here we don't have to take him out to have a good look and we don't got a lot of kick it so there's his mask it's cool it's like like you'd see uh some bmx bikes and all that kind of stuff but this professional headgear for professional racing and dude's got sunglasses on it this dude does look cool like him and slyrax they look cool so put that mask back on him give him a seat and there he is riding his four-wheeler he's in for some fun now, i do like four-wheeler four-wheeler riding and four-wheeler riding action that's a lot of fun now and with this one all you got to really do is flip this up and it converts now you see a saw blade come out the back and this folds forward and there's supposed to be a saw blade on the front that's odd okay let's just get another one so on this one here saw blade in the front and let's pop him up and then here's the double front gun and that's kind of cool you don't want the gun to shoot your saw blade and all of that kind of stuff so it's interesting i do like how he is held in place with the feet in their hold in place this is another one of the lower price point ones which i think a lot of the kids would have because of the lower price point that it carried so that's pretty awesome i'm a little bummed that this one here didn't have a saw blade uh, you know, I've, 10 years ago is the last time I really messed with these guys because uh, I've been working on the stuff that I'm missing parts to, not these, but it still looks pretty cool. Now to reset it, you want to just pull it back. So you just pull it back like that. It resets and then push those down, put the saw blade back in and let him have a seat. He's back to four wheeling back and forth. We can do that with this guy too. Mr. No Saw. Now I'm sad. Two sad things in series three. It's not that bad though. So next up on the list is Manta, which is really cool. This comes with Gloria, not Gloria, Vanessa Warfield. And she has her mask, and her mask is called the Whip. Because, uh, hi, whoever she's going to marry is going to be whipped, right, with her mask. Now, this is cool. Now, this is one of the things that I like in the show. The, the mask had, like, a seriously tight neckline. And this is not, this does not resemble the mask in the show because it's real world. I mean... Can you imagine having to try to, like, have that thin neckline <laughs> in the real world with a mask on? That's amazing. We would have to, like, clamp open and close. Anyway, uh, she has no eyes, so uh, that's how she looks. She's still pretty cool, and I, I have a spare figure I put in there so that I can use for the dropping action, and it's a lot of fun. I guess I could have put someone else in there, like Sly Rax or Dagger. I actually have less daggers than I have Vanessa Warfield, but... Uh, she has a couple of party tricks, but this is the Nissan 300ZX. Is there a 200ZX? 300ZX. <clears throat> uh, it looks nice. It's a pretty cool looking one. I like the purple on it. I like it. it's kind of cool. This is another one that was in the Chilean find, so a lot of these people buying those up uh, got them for a good price. I still think the Chile find stuff is going to be a little bit cheaper. Now, you push this and these pop out. Boom. Now, part of her conversion process is you pull this out, lift up her spoiler, and so there is that. We're gonna zoom out on this just a little bit so we can see everything that's going on with her. Now, also, this is supposed to pop open. So it didn't all do it with one push. You have to do a second push. Um, that's just because mine's old. Mine's, well, okay. Mine's a lot older than yours. I didn't get mine from Chile. And there it is, that's cool. And we needed this in series one, actually, because it's been around for a long time. I don't know why they waited so long. Maybe they just didn't have faith in, you know, girls in a boy's toy line. And that is classic in the 80s. Like, most of the girls are more expensive and more valuable. Anything the girls had and the females are more valuable. Now, I think we need to fold out this here to complete the process. And we complete the process. Now there is, uh, we see the sticker from the rear popped up on the top and it just adds a little bit of look to it. Uh, it's supposed to say Venom right here on the wings and it does. And she's getting tired of hearing herself nag, so she's going to, boom, drop herself out. Now, this does come with a seatbelt that you could put on there, and so let's put that seatbelt in. And then we're going to reset this seat with her now being safe for the next time she takes a dive. You want to put this in here and clip her in and 
there it is. So really, it's kind of a cool vehicle. I love getting this. I love that I have it. I kind of wish I would have picked up another complete one. That seat is so hard to get now. Like the seat costs more than I paid for my spare one of these <laughs> by far, by like three or four times more than I paid for my extra entire vehicle with a figure and helmet and all that. So crazy times we live in these days. Next up we have the Pit Stop Catapult with Sly Rax. And this is another one. So we have three of these kind of play sets. Now this is the bad guy play set. And I mean, who's really gonna be fooled here? Like you're pulling up and it says snake oil on it. Who's really getting fooled? It's caution, we're bad guys. Anyway, this is the same as the one that came with his piranha. So here's the comparison to the piranha. It's the same exact figure with just different colors. I gotta say that when I first started collecting 10 years ago, and I saw this one pop up. I thought it was a European recolor variation. I, I like three or four of them just showed up in lots and I was, I was like, yeah, it's a recolor. I wasn't really concerned because I was trying to get the US run done first. And I probably should have picked those European variants up. This wasn't, after a while I realized as I got down the list, I was like, oh wait, so this guy actually goes with this play set. So there it is. Let's see how it works. First of all, you're gonna need to put his foot on that peg there so he can stand behind here and pedal his snake oil. And then, so he does a couple of things. Now there's not like any one just crazy button that does it all. Uh, this folds forward or backwards. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not actually sure which way it's supposed to go. And then on the bottom here, we have these treads that pop out. So it turns into kind of like a tank. And then everything just fell off while I did that to show. And so anyway, uh, I pieced a couple of these together. The hard part to me is getting these these wheels, these tires, so. So you take it, you fold the gas tank up, and then you fire these off, which is crazy how it works. And I think that you're supposed to put it with the notches or whatever, but anyhow you slice it, it's just gonna fire. Fire, fire, fire. But I, I really do believe you're supposed to use these notches that are in this tire somehow to get it to fire, but I just lay it on there and fire it, so. It works for me to just do this. Doesn't work well, but it works. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. And then you push these, as you convert this, you push these in to lift it up. And then you can hide your treads, which barely even are noticeable, barely even noticeable. Uh, at first I didn't have them <laughs> on one as, that I first one I got for like 10 bucks. I was like, oh, I guess I need some treads, so. But that's what collecting, you're learning as you go, and I, I learned. It was definitely a huge learning experience collecting masks for me, which is a big part of why I make these videos, so you guys can know what's going on with this stuff. So this is my look at Kenner Mask Series 3, the racing series, and I do want to say that there are some serious gems in this line, some really great vehicles. Some, like the Meteor is not so great, but it still looks cool on the shelf. It's nice to have. Some of them are extremely fragile, and some of the parts are getting harder and harder to find. But still, to this day, I really like this Series 3. I like Series 1 the most, obviously. But we're gonna get into Series 4. That would be the Split Second Series. And that one, I am still missing several parts that I'm trying to track down before I do that video. But I, it is really kind of a fun, gimmicky toy line. I mean, they went out with a bang with that Split Second. We'll talk about that one in the future. Let me know what you think about this. Like and subscribe, comment below. Try to hear manger, ow. Super to work together for our break that mess, Quimpin 2. Whip on! Eclipse on! The virus is spreading like wildfire, Ollie. And Brad will make it. In my country, we would refer to Brad as if he were a cat. And mostly lucky. Hold on. Almost as reliable as Mars. He might be a nice puppy, but on the other hand, he might be an Apache attack dog.